and welcome back to the boardroom. Now, <laughs> the task I gave you this morning was quite simple, and that was to open your own restaurant. And quite simply, all you had to do was sell and make a profit. Now, Team Ramsay, I believe you had a problem with your bloody menus. Oh, my God, Lord Sugar, you're absolutely right. <laughs> when, it came, when it came to pricing the menus, that's when it turned into a nightmare. <laughs> because I gave that responsibility to a little Irishman who has no dress sense, no sense of humour, and he has the personality of a cardboard box. <laughs> we never sold one meal, and that was all Louis' fault. And Gordon, Gordon, you're just so insulting. <laughs> The restaurant business, I just don't get it. I know nothing, <laughs> but I've got everything. I'm an all-rounder, and I just want to be in the final. <laughs> hey, Walshie, stop acting like a little cry baby. <laughs> you let the team down. I know all about business. I've got my own garage. I fix cars. <laughs> I get crushed by them every day. <laughs> now... Team Kemp, Ross, you put yourself forward as team leader, confident in yourself. Oi! Brown sugar, or whatever you want to call yourself. <laughs> Why don't you just shut up? <laughs> I put myself forward as team leader because the word boss, it rhymes with Ross. <laughs> And for my team's menu, I created Ross Kemp's Extreme Crispy Chips. My <laughs> chips are so crispy, they make your gums bleed. <laughs> and Anton Deck, they never helped with this stupid idea of kangaroo crumble. No, no, cockroach crumble. <laughs> That's right, for our menu, we created cockroach crumble. <laughs> so, if you'd like your Watch crumble, cook to perfection, place in the oven, gas mark four for 15 minutes. That's right, cook to perfection, <laughs> gas mark four for 15 minutes. Well, the cookers are now closed. And that's time for Les Gibson to say. Good night, thank you very much, thank you.